people. Looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Yeah, anyway, man. I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. <laughs> salad Liberation what? Front. The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of Super heavy material for salad. little kids. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask. Yeah, whatever, man. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, Sweet. it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Cool. Okay, sure. So we got a revolutionary uh, carrot in our possession as an item, which is pretty cool, right? Bees. I hate bees. Hey, it's a well. What's up, Ken? man? You can call me Exo Gomper. Where'd you get a name like that? I didn't say it was my name. Oh. I just said you could call me that if you want to. You jerk. Uh, thanks. Why Exo Gomper? Hey, Penny. I wish. I wish the grass were greener here. Why are you <laughs> wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the winner yeah, well here? You or me? Oh. oh. That's too bad. I'm gonna put on my pajama Sam mask, capture darkness with my flashlight, and keep him in my lunchbox. All right. Why do you say that? The well doesn't care, obviously. All right, you can do more with him uh, when you have to actually go up through the well, Whoa. and that's part of another oh, playthrough of the game. Good but to you. basically, you have to get a pair of ores that you put onto Otto. And then you use those ores in order to get up this little tiny waterfall, which allows you to go up. So, but we're, we can't do that this time, which is okay, because it means that there's going to be other challenges ahead of us. None of which are going to be very challenging, because this is a game made for three to eight-year-olds. Three, yeah, three to eight-year-olds. So, even still, though, if I if I mess something up, it's going to be pretty embarrassing. Just just a little bit, not too much, but yeah, just a little Bye, bit. Otto. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'll leave the meter running. Huh? Well, um, I had this friend, and he's a okay. taxi, and... Yeah. Okay, bye bye now, bye bye Yeah, get out of here, man. I'm not listening to you. You're crazy. You're nuts. You're talking boat. So that's basically that area, and, and almost entirely done. So now we gotta go through here. Hey! This guy's, this guy's name's King. He's a minecart. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? <laughs> no, not Mud. really. Then why did you say it is? Yeah, you jerk. Look, I, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. Oh. I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, yeah. down, sideways, loop to loop. For the fun I had. But then I got rushed. Rust? Rust. Yeah. Rust. See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't Aww. move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. Yeah, no pigeons. Uh, yeah, so he uh, is rusted to here. And I guess if you, if you think about it, and if you're a bit older and maybe you've done stuff with rust and you're trying to get rust off of metal, uh, you wouldn't do what Sam is going to do, um, but you'd have to actually sand it away and then use a chemical compound to get the rust off. But Sam is just going to use some oil, some oil, if I can if I can get my inventory to show up. Hey, as Sam, soon as I capture pay darkness, attention. I won't be afraid to sleep with there you go. Here, yeah, we're just gonna I use a little bit of oil. This might help your wheels. And this actually wouldn't help with the wheels at all, because this isn't how rust works. Hey, so, that's good. Just so you know, back, kids, huh? if you might be watching, that you don't use oil on rust. It's just gonna end up making yeah. it oily, and it won't really help. Whoopee! Whoopee! Yeah. So this this part of the game is going to involve a lot of clicking. So please excuse the audio from my end. But I'm going to be Sam, clicking a lot. The king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the yep. mines, the king will take you. But it's like, it's the Xing, so maybe he thinks his name is King because he can't see it. I'm not going to bother asking about these kinds of things, but yeah. Dog's cute. No. 
It's all cute. He's like, whatever. Okay, right, let's go. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I was telling this bear really weird. He has this really weird voice. Let's see if we can get him to say something interesting. Step right up. Everyone's a winner. Gee, your hair smells good. <laughs> so weird. Anyways, let's keep going. Something here. Okay, so I need everyone to remember hey, this kid, right now. This thing? I might I actually even write it down <laughs> just so I don't it screw it up later 662. on. 662, everybody. Remember, 662. 662. Yeah, we're gonna need that for later on, but you'll see for, for what. Uh, sometimes the uh, flashlight, I think, is down there too, but this time, no. It looks like everything is gonna be inside of uh, Darkness's house. Except for the lunchbox, of course. Hey, it's a pickaxe. Let's pick that shit up. What are you gonna do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what Good. is it? It's a pickaxe for my <laughs> It's a pickaxe. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hit you right in the face with it. Right in auto. Oh, can't do it. Hey, fish. Uh, this actually leads into Darkness's house, but this is mostly a shortcut for later on in case you screwed up something, so. Very convenient. I wonder what's through there. It's gold, probably. Check it out. Okay, so this is where all the clicking comes in because there are socks littered through this area, which I gotta collect. Woo! Hey! That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. Smells yeah. Like one too. He's a big brother, that's weird. I didn't know that. that it was actually, uh, yeah, turtle. here we go. Try it out. It's fun. It's actually not that much fun. It's basically just playing Caterpillar, Millipede, whatever that game is. But yeah, let's let's, let's try it out. Nuggets. So this is actually like part of the weird little mini games that they have in the game. So it's it's not bad. It's just not like very super engaging, I guess. Like I'm not even holding the keyboard right now, so yeah. See, I'm, I'm probably gonna exit out of this after level like five, unless it gets super into it. But because I'm starting to run out of things to say, so yeah. Well, actually, let's just let's just keep going. We'll see how far I can get with this thing. Believe me, like when you're a kid, this this kind of game really appeals to you because you're like, man, I can beat this. I can I can definitely do this, and you see it as a kind of challenge, right? But you know, when you get to my age, you're kind of like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's kind of weird and... Yeah, not that much fun. But eh, we'll see. So I have five lives. That's pretty good. Kind of owning it so far. Yup. I swear you could change, like, the speed you go at, but I think... Oh, shit. Screw that up. Actually, that might have worked out actually for the better because I have to like basically get in that little spot up there up top and then like actually turn left like there and then go down. Yep. So there you go. Okay, so we're gonna go around and then once we reach this one here, go up and then right and then we'll finish it. But yeah, so it's it's surprising the kind of um, variety a game like this can provide. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of engine they're using for their game, but you know it's pretty you know diverse. You're able to do quite a lot, right? And you know, I guess that's the thing about these kind of kids games is you don't want the kids ever to really get bored. And if they do, then they're just gonna automatically quit out of their game, right? And that's like course any game developer will tell you that that's the last thing they want anyone to do is feel like they're not being engaged properly but if I was any indication as a kid I had the attention span of a goldfish so if a game constantly wasn't doing stuff like this to me I would just probably quit pretty quickly <laughs> and just be like nah I'm gonna play like reader rabbit or all those other games or whatever so 
Yeah. How's everybody doing at home there? Pretty good? How are you enjoying the channel? Leave a comment. Something. I don't know if I'm supposed to get the kit get the chickens or no. I don't think I'm supposed to actually. I'm just going to avoid them. Alright. This is getting a tad monotonous. Okay, well, screw that, that stuff. Oh, fun. That wasn't fun, Sam. That was a nightmare of 36 levels. I don't know how many levels there are in that thing, but I'm assuming there are a lot, and and hopefully that sped up process didn't take up too much time in the video. But anyways, let's, let's go this way. Sock. We gotta go there. Wah. This is just a little bit more exciting than the stupid sock thing I was just doing. Regardless, uh, we gotta keep going. Sock! Ah, oh. This is what I mean, like... I, I am a let's player of untold quality. And, oh shit. And I need to make sure that I get all the socks so you guys can see the little animation that comes at the end of it. this must be gold! Hey, I found a sock back there! You did. We're gonna put together that sock. Lots hey, of socks. Got another sock. Uh, no. There you go. Alright, well, let's use the pickaxe. Alright, let's use the carrot on the That's sock. That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna do any good. Okay, well, let's use the carrot on the sock. On the gold, whatever. Sweet. Oh. I warned you to be careful. I warned you. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Yeah, look at the gold. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have the small piece, huh? Deal. What the heck does he need with it? So, the funny thing about the... We about, can't go back that way. We're gonna have to take the other way out. Yeah, you have to go the other way out. The funny thing about the, the um, gold is you don't actually have to give it away. You can just keep it. And then Sam will eventually go back to being a little kid. And he'll come out of his closet, even though it just might just be his imagination. He'll come out with like a giant pound of gold, which will make him pretty fabulously wealthy. Damn it. Okay, try this again. Because I know there's one sock that I didn't pick up. I just can't remember for the life of me where it is. It's not here. That's the well. I think it's down this way. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. I can feel it. I can feel it. I know it's gonna be here. This way. Nope, this way. Oh, we're gonna nail it. We're gonna do it this time. I'm gonna skip the little cinematics a little bit. <laughs> okay. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but I have to, because... Ah, oh, whoosh. Ah! Ah, oh, this is all right, we got it. We nailed it. We nailed it. There you go. Back to nuts. Well, let's, let's just skip out of here. Anyways, so yeah, that, that's why I don't skip, because you can basically do this game in like five minutes if you skip all the cinematics. 
But we're not gonna do any more of that because, yeah. All right, so that's that's basically the end of the uh, mine section. But let's uh, let's let's go spend some of our money. And let's let's go uh, let's go play some cheese and crackers for like a minute because it's kind of boring, and then we'll do other stuff after. So this guy's like, hey, I need a pound of gold. Corkscrews, get it? I need like a pound of gold. Why do people have to pay a toll just to cross a bridge? To get to the other side, of course. Yeah. Rules are rules. You're not some kind of troublemaker, are you? Oh no, yeah. Sir, not me. I am. And we're gonna give him a pound of gold. No, it actually there looks like go. pirate. This pirate. At least a pound. Uh, what a jerk! He's gonna measure it. Go on across. But you, nobody actually pays the pound of gold to cross that. I don't, I don't think anybody does. I wouldn't. Mm. What's up, guy? Hey. Hey. I'm fine. How are you? No, no, no. I said how are Don't you know how to play cheese, play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. Mm. No cheese yeah. and crackers is the name of a game. See. Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this All is right. my tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-who? No, no, tic -tac this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention. First, yep. you need to choose which you're going to be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be okay. the crackers. You're trying to get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. You go first. Okay, so I play a lot of tic-tac-toe back in the day. Now it's my turn. With friends and with significant others who now hate me. But I was pretty damn good at it. And I just won. Darn you won. The, the idea is just to get the bottom corner or the top corner or any of the corners, right? And, and that's it, really. What is that word so, that you said before? Avarti? Avarti. That's what you say when you want to play cheese and crackers. That's no, actually a kind of cheese. And then if they want to play too, they say provolone back to you. Oh, I get it. Avarti. Provolone. Try to get there you three go. in a row. I'll go first. Oh, he's going to go first. Now you move. Hmm. Hmm. Now of course, you. that happens. You got to block it, right? And this is probably going to end up in a cat's run. game. Yeah, this is going to be cat's game. Unless he's dumb and puts it somewhere else, not in the top middle. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, nobody won this one. Good move. <laughs> Looks like a draw. Yeah, war never changes. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, um, cheese and crackers. Hold it! If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't it's believe nice. how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. Well, getting a stamp actually on your palm is a really bad idea, but, eh, whatever. He's, Sam's a little kid, he doesn't know any better. All right, so now we're gonna go to Darkness's house, and we're gonna go uh, beat the game in in probably in the next. Okay, stop it. Probably gonna beat the game in the next like 15 minutes, maybe. Well, we'll see. 